here with our resident artist, Tori Wire, and Tori's back with another sketchbook lesson. So today we're focused on water, namely oceans, streams, and lakes, and we're bringing them into our sketchbook. And I'm confused because you have a lot of green and I always think of water as blue. Um, I find lakes in particular are pretty green. And then when you think tropical oceans, mm -hmm. I get a little green there too, kind of a turquoisey. Um, but I feel like any water in any kind of the cool colors can really give you that flow and kind of give you that sense of water and shape. So what are we doing? So today it's all about color. So okay. layering different colors of blues and greens, maybe add a little white here and there, um, and really just give you a sense of what it, looks like and feels like to look into your water, dip your toes into water. Even a bath can count as kind of a calm, watery place. And after we layer, adding some kind of shapes and lines and textures on top. And these don't necessarily have to be like, this is a wave shape or anything like that. It could be, right? It could be, yep. Um, think about all the different forms water takes. So when you drop a big pebble into a stream or a lake, it splashes, so you get little splash marks. That can be water. Definitely, I think we're all used to those wavy lines being water. Um, the pebbles that you see in water almost start to become little dreamy flowing bits. So how could you recreate that? Just kind of thinking and slowing down um, and remembering all the experiences you've had with water. Well, nature is such an inspiration, and I think sometimes we think that nature painting, even in your sketchbook, like has to be realistic, but sometimes it's an expressionistic, you know, uh, experience. And what you're saying is this is what water makes me feel like. This is what, you know, it's like many painters have said, like they painted the way that music looked. Mm -hmm. And how does music look? You know, well, that's a very interesting question, right? Mm -hmm. So how does water feel? And maybe that's what you're painting. Mm -hmm. So does it matter? A Acrylic, watercolor, oil, gouache, anything will do. I think any medium that you just really love to use and any of the colors you love to use. Um, I think watercolor would make a lot of sense for this just because you think water, why not watercolor? Right. Um, but adding a lot of water to acrylic, you can get some good colors mixing and some good shapes going. So playing with that as well. That's really what a sketchbook is all about. Well, so let's talk about that. When you are using your sketchbook, you know, and you're drawing all this water, is it because you're interested in doing a painting on water later or is it because you're looking for a creative outlet? Like, why are you deciding today, let's draw water? I think um, nature really inspires me. So when I think about nature, water, and kind of the calmness of water, ocean is always where I want to go for a vacation. <laughs> so I'm, I think I might always be thinking a little bit about water. So, and it's a great, I love blues and cool colors too. It's a great thing to just kind of play with and there's no wrong way. No one's gonna look at that and say, no, I'm sorry, that's not water. So are you drawing on wet paint? I'm not, I'm actually drawing in between. So. Even, um, especially I love to work in mixed media, and as you have wet mediums, it pushes you to think about what could I draw in between while I'm waiting for things to dry so I can just keep creating. That's really cool, and I think it's another one of those things, like we worry sometimes that working with paint it takes too much time, or you need to use a hair dryer or a heat gun or something to dry it, but sometimes if you can think of what are the ways that I can work in between, then you don't need to do any of that. Mm -hmm. Now I noticed that you're working with a black pen. Have you ever used like blue pens to stay in that sort of range or anything like that? Or do you always like to doodle with black? Definitely you could stay in the range here. You could use colored pencils, um, normal pencils, put a little gray in here. I love to put black, especially when I'm working with color because it really adds a high contrast and it really pops out of that color. I agree. I, I can't stay away from black. Matisse couldn't stay away from black. Picasso <laughs> couldn't stay. I mean, there are a lot of painters, right, who really, that black line adds something really wonderful to it. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at some of the samples that you brought with us of your mm -hmm. sketchbook, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So we have one that's obviously actually a book, mm -hmm. um, which is certainly a way that you can work. And it looks like you've used a lot of paint. This is very abstract and like I can see some of the inspiration from nature if I start to really think about it, but it's not obvious. Mm -hmm. And then you have some pages that are similar to the one that you're working on now. Do you want to tell us anything about these? Sure. If we're looking at these and you can even see some color mixing in, so a lot of different blues and greens, pebble shapes, um, dark little splotchy shapes that could be indicative of that spring of yeah, water. and it drops almost like rain. It looks like maybe you mm -hmm. use some salt or something to get those little dots over there. I mean, it feels really just organic and like it's washing over me. Thank you so much, Tori.